Welcome back. A wheel is changing metal shaping techniques, allowing you to shape metal right on site. Say at car events, uh, technical colleges, workshops. Kevin, yeah, Kevin Masson is here and he uses the Bailey English wheel for his business, Kingdom Metal Works out of Hampton, Kentucky. He's here today to show us how it works. But first off, you're just going to love his accent. That's what's going to make you stick around for this segment. Great to have you with us today, Kevin. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, they, they're very weird sounding in Livingston County. Is that where you're from? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Livingston yeah. County, yeah. Hampton. Yeah. 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 That's where yes. it is down there and the, right on the Ohio River. Yeah. So yes. now how does this work, Kevin? What happens? So we get a piece of metal and then we place it into the wheel. Mm -hmm. We just apply the pressure and as you apply backwards and forwards motion, it starts shaping the, the metal in two directions. Uh -huh. It's a, a linear style stretching. Uh -huh. So unlike the planishing hammer or something like that, which is spherical, this is linear and it goes in two directions at one time. And as you can see, you start getting a little bit of a dish to yeah. it, a right, little yeah. bit of a shape. Yeah. And this is what we uh, shape the material up. There's all the anvils on the front, mm -hmm. and this is great about this machine because uh, Bailey have put it together with great bearings mm -hmm. and a full sh set of uh, six wheels to uh, choose different shapes. You use the right wheel to attain the right shape that you want mm -hmm. on shaping the metal to make a panel. Uh, I use it for cars, right. so therefore restoration on cars. So you can shape a fender like if you wanted to, that kind of thing, right? Yes, we have the fender right there sitting right. in this front. This is awesome. You made this? Yes, oh I did. I made that on this English wheel yeah, and crazy. Other, other machinery that I use in the workshop too. Uh huh. So how long did it take you to make this? Uh, about 40 hours. Okay. Yes. So what, what was the technique before this? Yeah, I mean, before this came What were along. you doing? Would you have to use heat? I mean, how would you shape metal before that? I mean, with Well, th this has been around for years and years and years. Uh, this method is Is it always been French. portable, though? Because it's kind of well, portable in a way, right? No. Now, is it? This one's portable, <laughs> but most of them he are really it big, on his back. and you can't move <laughs> them. Right. And so that's what makes this so versatile right. for me to be able to take to shows mm -hmm. and to technical colleges. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll go and do a demonstration, and then there'll be people in the crowd that want to uh, have a go. Yeah. So as long as I don't catch their fingers, because coming into the wheel, you don't want to be oh doing Lord. that. Um, mind your fingers. Have you done yeah. that? Really well. Have you done that? Or have you ever done it once? Yeah. You never want to do it twice. Yeah. Yes. So what other things can you make with this? I mean, is it strictly cars? Is that usually what you're working, working no, on? It's, it's a piece of metal to shape it up for whatever you might want it to be. Okay. Mm -hmm. Aircraft parts. You've got cars, you've also got all kinds of instruments and different things like that. You can uh, shape up copper, brass, all kinds of different materials. Right. Yeah, so who are you usually making things for? Who's your clientele? Well, the clientele are people that own uh, cars that want restoring. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. what I was doing in California. Nice, right. okay. And yeah, so he's only been in Kentucky about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. Moving to the rural area. Yes. Just so that you know, things would slow down a little bit. <laughs> I could start a little company up right. and uh, at the same time do metal shaping classes. And so using the Bailey English wheel and some of the other machinery in my workshop, people come in, they do a one-on-one -on -one class, and it can be a, a one- or three-day class. Uh, and then I've actually gone out to other workshops and mm. uh, helped them set up their machinery and help them to further their projects forward. Uh, making hoods or whatever it might be, mm -hmm. uh, English wheel is a great machine for making up long, shapey panels like hoods, trunk skins, and things like that on cars. And I imagine word of mouth gets around, hey, I got a guy who can do this, and yeah. then that's probably building a reputation for you, right? I mean, because that car community is pretty close-knit. It is. Especially classic cars, that kind of thing. It is. Yeah. And, and that's what I'm hoping to do is build a legacy in mm -hmm. this Kentucky right. and the surrounding states. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, it's a dream come true. You know what? You hear something funny. Listen to Haley pronounce the word aluminium. Um, aluminum. Ah, ah, oh, no. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Don't set me up. Yeah. Dang. Uh, but, but I guess, again, what you said, <laughs> copper, what else? Brass? We can use yes. that. So, shape brass. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stainless steel. Have you done things other than automobiles, though, where you shape stuff for other clients? That the, wanted, I don't um, know what, but. I haven't. No. I mean, this mm. is for a teardrop trailer. Yeah. So it's one of, you know, it, it's a trailer, so. It's to do with vehicles, but yeah. uh, most of my stuff has been... for a bedpan. Is that something you can make? <laughs> well, or? Yeah, I got Custom a make one? Custom? Yeah. Oh, there thank you go. God. Yeah. Big make. capacity is what we're looking for. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. Thank you so much for coming on today. Nice this to meet really you, is Kevin. so neat. Nice and to meet welcome you. to Kentucky. Yeah. Thank you. We are glad to have Wonderful you here. To be here. Thank so, you. So, yeah, if you would like to register for a class or find out more about Kingdom Metalworks, log on to their website, kingdommetalworks.com. All right, coming up, a Kentucky professor has found the key to unlocking history. A new type of technology is helping reveal ancient writings that have never been deciphered until now. We're going to explain next here on Live with Lee and Haley.